So now, you've got some recordings, you've got some shows done. People are asking you, you got a t-shirt, bumper sticker, ball cap. Let's talk about some merch. Matt here, Music Scene Ohio, and you are watching A Weekly Grip with Chris Adams. Check it out. Hey folks, Chris here, that trucking uh, guitar player. Today let's talk about uh, let's talk about merch. How to go about getting it and uh, selling it. And merch is a uh, an important thing. It, it shows that you're professional shows that you're serious about uh, making an impact um, and it helps your fans um, promote you it can get expensive to acquire merch but it doesn't have to be you can do all kinds of nifty little stuff one of the easiest things that you can do and maybe the cheapest too is Go to your local uh, office supply store and buy a package of uh, 8.5 by 11 sheets of adhesive paper. The big labels. Buy that and then uh, print out your own bumper stickers. You can get them in packs of 100, 500,000. Um, and I figure you could probably get about four per sheet. You know, a pack of 100 costs you about 20 bucks, um, depending on where you go. Um, if you have to get ink cartridges for your printer, that's going to add a little bit of, you know, depending on how much uh, your cartridges cost. Those, I don't understand why those are so expensive, but they are. But you figure, okay, if you can get four stickers per sheet, at 100 sheets, that's 400 stickers. You sell them at a dollar a piece, or even 50 cents. Let's go 50 cents. 50 cents a piece, that's 200 bucks that you're making. So your initial outlay might be about 100 bucks, you know, if you gotta get cartridges and, and paper. So you're still profiting $100. And those cartridges last a while, so, you know, a couple packs. And you've got, you know, your second pack, profit you about 200 bucks actually it'd be about 180 you know 50 cents of a sticker people are gonna buy them yeah you know they'll, they'll they'll move and they're a great way to promote your band you can make posters as well uh, if you've got a friend that's a photographer or are somebody really good with a camera you take promo shots and, and print them out on on poster board you can sell those for you know a couple bucks a piece or whatever so <clears throat> another thing you can do is um, find yourself online or even locally which you know of course I would prefer uh, somebody to make you t-shirts cost you about five six bucks a t-shirt to, to, to make them but you can sell them for 10, 15 bucks at, at your shows or online even. If you go the online route, there are services that uh, will do all the shipping for you. 
you don't have to do a thing. It'll cost you more, but it's pretty good. Here a while back, I noticed a, a website that had uh, those little light-up trinkets that you can sell. Uh, they were uh, extremely cheap. I, I don't remember what the prices were, but um, you could have them branded. You know, it was uh, another item that you could sell, or the rubber wristbands that, that you see. Um, I've got some in my truck from uh, uh, one of the truck stops. Every year they do a fundraiser and they sell them for a buck. And the, the proceeds from those wristbands go to uh, uh, help a charity that helps truck drivers with medical needs. So, you know, pretty good deal. Um, another thing that you can do is uh, get cheap $5 guitar straps, black nylon guitar straps, and have your band logo and band name uh, silk screened onto them. That'll cost you a little more money, but uh, in the long run, it you'll make a bigger profit as well. Another option is to have uh, custom-made uh, guitar picks. <coughs> you, you know, Dunlop picks, uh, offer them. Uh, actually, every every one of the pick makers offers them. Um, pretty cool, actually. Another thing that I just thought of, uh, I'm sure every guitar player has seen them, the, the, those... Uh, uh, guitar, uh, guitar pick punches that you can make uh, picks out of credit, you know, old credit cards. There's an idea too. You know, have your band logo or your name printed on a piece of plastic, the thickness of a credit card, and uh, punch them out. Another thing I've seen is uh, if somebody in your band is uh, particularly artistic, you know, they can do caricatures or, or whatever have them uh, have them do that and sell them for five ten bucks you know make a, uh, a caricature poster of everyone in the band that would be kind of cool actually um, I, at least I think that would be kind of cool you know you, you drummers you can uh, have uh, drumsticks made up with your band logo or your name on them Again, that's not necessarily cheap to acquire, but I think you'll sell well. The fact is, you can do just about whatever you want. You can sell pretty much whatever. People will buy it. I mean, look what uh, Gene Simmons does with Kiss. You know, he's got the band name on literally just about everything, including some things I won't mention here. Um, <laughs> because, well, <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, it all depends on how much you want to put out to start with. You know, if you're just starting out, you don't have any money, I would seriously consider doing, you know, the starting with the bumper sticker idea and then maybe moving on from there once you get some profit. You know, uh, it's all about getting your name out there, getting promoting what you do and making a little bit of cash in the process. I, th I think every musician out there will tell you the same thing. You'll make more money on merchandise than you do from the venues. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You know, talking about the bumper stickers real quick. Uh, maybe down the road I'll, I'll do a uh, how-to on uh, doing just that, you know, for myself. It's an idea that uh, I'm playing with, uh, you know, to acquire merchandise for, for this and, you know, generate some money. So, you know, maybe I'll uh, do a tutorial on, on the uh, DIY bumper sticker idea. Uh, I'll let you know. You know, acquiring merchandise isn't hard, but it requires you to do something it requires you to to be active and to 
participate in your creation. It's not going to come to you. you got to go find it. But there's all kinds of great ideas out there that you can incorporate into your merch table or your website or online store. Uh, and there again, there's another another option too. You can uh, set up uh, a third-party online store to sell merch and send it out for you. And you get a profit on it. Uh, uh, how much, I don't know. I, I haven't looked into that, but I do know that there are websites that offer that. So with all that being said, you know, good luck to you. And, and uh, go make some great music and sell something. Well, we'll talk to you next week. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please uh, stick around. Uh, subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, consider checking out my uh, Patreon. Uh, I'll be doing great giveaways there uh, to all Patreons, uh, and you get a shout-out in the credits. Thanks.